ఓం శ్రీ గణేషాయ నమ ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ వీఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ద న్యూ ఇయర్ అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు స్టార్ట్ విత్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద మోస్ట్ అండర్ రేటెడ్ అండ్ ఎట్ మోస్ట్ పవర్ఫుల్ పూజ ఆర్ అనుష్ఠాన్ దట్ వీ ఆల్ హ్యావ్ ఫర్ గాట్ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ డే వీ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ బీజ మంత్రాస్ వీఆర్ రన్నింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సో మెనీ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ పూజాస్ అండ్ డూయింగ్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ బట్ వీ ఆర్ జస్ట్ నాట్ సీయింగ్ దట్ దెర్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ద సొల్యూషన్ Uh, which is so powerful and yet very underrated because people think it's a it's just a mythology and um, you know it's a story yeah yeah i feel good when i listen to it and i feel uh, i have the courage i feel um, you know i can feel the strength i feel protected that's all they can think they cannot think beyond that any guesses about what i am talking about so if you are able to guess please do mention in the comment below i will know but be sincere okay don't post a comment after the video because by in the next very moment you will know what i'm talking about i am talking about the sundarakanda actually uh, none of my videos i come prepared it's always impromptu that i speak about a puja or a uh, whatever remedy or a solution to a problem or whatever today i actually made notes on sundarakanda you know why because i just felt there are so many things and i didn't want to miss on any point see the very uh, fact that why it's called sundarakanda is because uh, it is the most beautiful part of ramayana and when i say it's the most beautiful part it is so because that is when hanuman uh, actually brings in a turning point in the lives of everybody because uh, rama is alone and he's uh, without sita and uh, sita has to be found and he's the only one who's capable of finding and that turning point for the ramayan comes when he is able to go to lanka and find her so if we are looking for a turning point in our lives definitely sundarakanda parayana is something that is very 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 much advised although valmiki ramayan is very ancient and uh, it's the original text we say uh, it's very auspicious to read that i would strongly recommend that you know uh, at least start with the tulsi ramayan because valmiki ramayan is very very elaborate it may really not be possible to uh, go through the whole thing uh, in a short span of time but uh, tulsi ramayan is very easy and uh, it is something which is very effective you can go on doing repetitions of tulsi ramayan uh, particularly the sundaka sundarakanda parayana that is what i am here today to talk about so one thing is the turning point and then uh, sundarakanda is something where he shows that when you are on your path in your journey of life towards your goal just like he is um, having a goal of going and meeting meeting sita mata seeing her and finding out where she is uh in the path uh, you find lot of obstacles you find lot of uh, maya we call it uh, in the spiritual language distractions basically where you know uh, you tend to deviate from your goal um and you get enamored by what is already there okay and you actually forget about your goal so hanuman ji also had this experience of uh, um you know almost getting into maya but there again he shows how beautifully he is not enamored by that although he knows that and he very clearly knows that is maya so i'm talking about uh, his entry into chandra prabha you know when he goes there when you know the vanaras the four of them go uh, you know uh, go in search of where sita is they find the chandra prabha and when they find chandra prabha these are all very hungry uh, uh, vanaras so they want to eat something and they are like looking for food and when you go into the cave of chandra prabha you see a lot of things to eat and it's a never ending cave and it's so vast with so many varieties of food to eat and the the uh, monkeys are actually enamored but then instantly hanuman will realize that this is something which is like uh, going to be a deviation from the main purpose and uh, you know sugriva would have given them a timeline that within one month you need to come back uh, with Uh, solution and otherwise you will all be given marana dandana like you know you'll be sentenced to death instantly hanuman remembers that he is in maya and he asks uh, chandra prabha uh, mother who are you and she is a yogini and she would have attained siddhis to enamor people and she enchants them through all these whatever is required to be like eaten and things like that so he says that i am on a purpose i am actually ramaduta i am after uh, you know sita i want to know where she is so please uh, i c- myself cannot move out of this maya but i need your blessings yogini mata that you know you uh, 
take me away from this maya so that i can go and uh, i can go in pursuit of my uh, purpose so that is when she blesses him and he is out of that zone again so that way if we are deviated by various other distractions or karmic blocks or whatever it could be definitely uh, hanuman ji is uh, sundarkand parayana when we do that tulsi ramayan definitely we are able to come out of the and these kind of deviations and we are on a steer clear path towards our goal okay and if we lack strength we lack courage we lack, we have shatru bada these are common things which i want to tell you uh, which will definitely help uh, help you in sailing through these problems like you know i like i mentioned to you uh, one of it is definitely shatru bada you have lot of enemies you don't know how to tackle them um this is something and then the chaturyatana you need that intelligence you need that wit you need the wisdom to know how to handle your problems see most of the times what really happens is that uh, we just feel we are too good for everybody and we have our attitude and things like that but in sundarkanda if we see uh, he knows when to become like a small ant and he knows when to become gigantic he knows how to talk to sita mata how to show humility he knows how to handle ravana's arrogance so those things we in this world we are filled with all of these kind of situations where every day you know two persons in the same family are the same so once you uh, you know read the sundarkana parayana i know it's not practical because it takes a couple of hours to read for all of us but we have this option of getting the parayana done through us uh, in pujas.in definitely when we do that uh, the internal changes start happening we'll know how to exhibit what talent where when to keep quiet in kannada there is a beautiful saying murkha janara munde mookanagirabeku which means in front of foolish people sometimes you have to be silent you cannot convince and here the proverb is not referring to people who are very dumb they are, it is referring to people who think they who are intelligent but who are dumb so you see those things uh, we definitely need to um, you know have that acumen to know when what that is presence of mind which we will gain from hanuman people who have health issues definitely um, sundarkanda parayana is a uh, short short recommendation uh, do you all uh, you know remember that uh, we have hanuman langoli kavach part uh, listed on our website we offer that puja it's a very popular puja uh, where we are praying to the um, tail of hanuman ji so where we are trying to invoke the blessings of hanuman ji through his tail can you imagine if his tail alone is so powerful how will he be invoking his blessings be just going to temple just chanting hanuman chalisa is one way of doing it definitely it's one level i will not underestimate that i myself would have recommended that as a beginner uh, activity for you know spiritual activity for clients but going forward if your problem is intense you should go for a sundarakanda parayana and in fact if you even if you don't have a problem it's great to do it because it's uh, it gives you sense of well being it sets right your issues and hanuman ji basically uh he has very clearly told lord shani bhagwan that you know if you come after my devotees i will not spare you um there are numerous instances where he said that and uh, definitely after that shani has uh, promised that he will not trouble hanuman devotees that is one thing second thing hanuman ji also has uh, warned mangal graha so people who are having issues with mangal graha and shani can also get this done they will also get the benefit i've i've seen numerous businessmen who have who are stuck in their business who are not able to i mean who were from abroad who came to india tried to do a business they could not do and then they've gone back to their uh, the foreign land back to their place uh, and found a job there after doing the sundarkanda parayana L- literally relocating twice you know um, but of course i got to know them only when they had already moved from abroad to india and they were trying their luck and they struggled and then they reached out to me so like this i have many numerous instances of doing the uh, getting the parayana done for my clients and them getting the benefit today i'm going to call one such client uh, here in front of the camera to share his experience about sundarkanda how it helped him in his health and his career sundarkanda is one uh, such treatise i can say which um, you know helps you in formulating your language and your skills your talent you name it because hanuman had all of it he's a package he's all in one he's all in one and uh, uh, and he's so beautiful um, his actual name was sundara only it is only after he was hit by the vajrayudha that he got a face like that 
uh, still then he was Sundara and everything about Sundara Kanda revolves around him. So, which is why it is called the Sundara Kanda, that Adhyaya, that portion of uh, the Valmiki Ramayana or Tulsi Ramayana which glorifies his glory and his way of communication, his way of uh, finding out where Sita is, his way of uh, threatening the enemies, his way of handling the obstacles in between. So, even if you have obstacles, you can steer clear of that through the Sundara Kanda Parayanam. So, if any of you is interested, please do reach out to me. I will be very happy to get this done for you. And for now, it's time to invite my client Swati Prasad. Hello Swati. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. So, today we are here to talk about the most underrated and yet so powerful puja, mm -hmm. Sundara Kanda. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, I... that is also something that you had tried through us. Definitely. Yeah. So, I want you to share your feedback. Okay. So, Sundara Kandam is the, I think it's the fifth chapter in Valmiki Ramayana and it's one of the most beautiful uh, Kanda for those of, you know, uh, people who doesn't know what Sundara Kandam is. Right. Out of the seven Kandam in, which is, you know, segregated in Ramayana, this is the fifth Kandam. It's the most beautiful and the most powerful story where, you know, the uh, presence of Hanuman starts and then how he goes in search of Sita, how he breaks all the obstacles, you know, kills all the Asuras. Just like that and in no time, in two days he goes, finds her Correct. and then he comes back with that information to tell it to his Lord Rama. Now this might, you know, sound just like a story but to me this is not a story. This is a, you know, I, how I would term this is Mahakarya Siddhi Mantra. This is actually a mantra. Very, very, very powerful. Underrated because, not underrated, definitely that's not the word. Many doesn't know about it. I would say unaware. No, why I said that was they think it's like a story. Uh, it's not going to give them solution to problems or anything like that. They're just enamored by the story mm -hmm. and then they just look at it as a story. That's Correct. why I said it's underrated. No, they don't know the potential. Correct. The, the problem is the entire Ramana, Ramayana itself is a great mantra. But then yeah, people take it like a story to learn from it. But then, you know, our ancient rishis, rishis have identified that this specific Sundara Kandam, fifth chapter has so much power to you know make your dreams come true. true so you know which is why I tried it and uh, I should really thank my father who was like a guru to me and he told me when I had suffered a serious ligament tear injury in my right knee because I'm a sports freak I play a lot of games and Swati has multiple injuries and every time he's <laughs> tried a new puja everything has worked for him though <laughs> yeah it is it is everything has everything has more so the Sundara Kandam this Sundara Kandam yes Sundara Kandam the beauty of Sundara Kandam is you know uh, is applicable to all kind of desires as long as it's ethical, Correct. be it love, relationships, uh, finance, injury and, and what not, anything. Because Hanuman is a no-nonsense God and he can <laughs> achieve the most, uh, you know, most even the most impossible thing. That's what we call it. <laughs> Correct, exactly. So, no wonder he is called that. And he proved all this, you know, within just two days of he taking this uh, mighty Vishwarupa and then he went, crossed, killed so many Asuras of all with all kinds of powers and he did it all with just so much ease and then he came back. So, as this story, this specific story implies, so anything, any request you put forth to him is nothing for him. Correct. So, he's going to do it. Actually, what the Rishis have told is a devoted performance or reading of this Sundara Kandam will bring forth the result in just two days. Why? Because from the day he started from that hill, he went to Lanka, brought the roof down completely yeah. and then he came back. It was just only two days. Within two days, two days, he has done so much of destruction to the evil forces. You know, uh, he, he uh, saw Mother Sita, he gave the ring and all those things and then he came back. Uh, so, all this happened just in two days. So, which is why a proper uh, performance or conduct of this reading and ritual is going to bring forth, at least start Correct. whatever request you have uh, placed in within just two days. And for me, it happened overnight. I, I swear on my parents and the Lord Rama himself, for me, the Sundara Kandam, cured my ligament tear in just one night, which is impossible, impossible because yeah. ligament tears are a nightmare to the sportsmen. It will completely ruin their career and they have to complete, come to a complete stop. So, you know, if bone fractures happen, they can be healed over a period of time. Correct. If muzzle tear or tissue tear happen, they still can be rehabilitated. But ligament tear is just an elastic, elastic band and for me, the, you know, the uh, the ligament that got torn was ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, okay. which joins this femur bone and the shin bone. So, I had completely, it was a full tear. So, I could not, for a sportsman, it is a nightmare for me. For, for anybody for that matter, it's going to be a lot of painful because, you know, these two bones will keep slipping. 
So you cannot, you, you can only walk straight in one direction. You cannot move at all. Again, they'll slip. My God. You have to sit down and then you know, kind of. Uh, Even lock normal it up. functioning would have been difficult. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. I don't know when it will slip and fall. So I have to literally limp and. Uh, my you know, God. I had missed my important cricket matches, my badminton matches. I mean. Uh, leaving the sports alone, but the pain and uh, the agony was uh, Very just. Bad. Even yeah. normal functioning would be so difficult. Exactly. The only way to fix this, not fix, at least to do something, is through arthroscopy, where again, you know, they have to uh, put two, three holes, uh, you know, and then they have to drag the two ligaments which have gone apart, uh, drag pull them in so they have pull it back, and then they have to put nail <laughs> on the bone. Scary. And correct. And then I have to wear a crutch or a knee brace. Even then, I'm not fully cured. Ligament tear is gone. So imagine the power of, there are many pujas which can, you know, uh, give you a finance turnaround or, uh, or relationships. But if there is one really powerful, powerful puja that can heal you at a DNA level, physical level, which nothing can do, only this can do. This I am a living proof. I swear on that Sundra Gandam, I swear on Lord Rama and Anuma, this happened, happened twice to me. I mean, that's my uh, wrong, you know, once I got uh, fixed. And uh, uh, yeah, and then again I became like a monkey. Played too much, thinking, you know, God has fixed, I can do whatever I want. And then I strained too much, I got the second time tone. And then again I did that. And again I got it back. And Within that's when your mother warned you. My mother warned me, literally scolded me. She said like, you know, because Hanuman is healing you, doesn't mean you can keep jumping like a monkey and expect him to come and do the, you know, healing every time. So after that, I've been very careful. And apart from that, in my business career also, I had a... Uh, you know, I was uh, into a share, uh, trading, I think, trading and share uh, thing where I just went overboard and lost a lot of money. Then I was like, my God, I've lost a lot of money. Not not about losing money, but then I've lost. It's it's still a loss, right? So how did this happen? So again, it was my mistake. I went overboard, uh, didn't see the trends properly. And then I just invested like that. And then again, I did Sundra Gandam. It was genuine. I asked him, apologize. I'll not do this again, but you know, help me uh, recover, recover the, the money losses. back. I got seven or eight times back the money. <coughs> so this Sundra Gandam is just one stop solution for everything. When nothing else works, he will work for you. That's the power of Hanuman. Correct. And actually, when he, when so I know him since 2014, when we did the Sundra Gandam for him, that time he did not have this uh, Tantric uh, game of chances talisman. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm sure yeah. he would have got it that time only. <laughs> so this was much later. So that time he did the Sundra Gandam. And the beauty about Swati is that when he's doing a puja, he completely understands the nature of the puja, which deity, the nature of the deity, what is involved. So, which is why beautifully he's able to explain about Sundra Gandam also. It's not just like, I'll give you money. Uh, you just do the puja. It's not like that. He will get it done through us, but he will also do his homework. See, that that is his involvement, which gives results. See, very important is that, um, you know, one thing is you want to get rid, desperately get rid of the problem, but you also need to be involved. Uh, you ha should have the devotion. Absolutely. Yeah, because that way you can, uh, you know, uh, feel the link between you and the God. God. Correct. And, and Sundra Gandam is, uh, you know, the, the beauty is, you know, when, when, when your priest I should really thank him. He has done a wonderful job. You know, when yeah. things work, which means the priest has done a great job. Yeah. Sundra Gandam is not easy. It's it's not a joke. It's not an easy thing to read. It has a lot of procedures to follow. Correct. Which individually for us, it's really, really difficult. So only priest, the Siddhi priest can do it. And, uh, you know, when when we do the Sundra Gandam, what I did is, I got the English translation and then I was reading on the day when he was doing it. So, at home. So I feel, uh, you know, uh, linked. Okay. Or uh, C connected to Hanuman. You know, you just read without knowing the language, then there is no connect. Correct. So, if you understand the story and then you read, then it's amazing. You feel so much connected. And then, you know what's happening? You literally visualize, okay, Hanuman did this, did that, did that, no? And, and the beauty of Sundra Ganda is, Hanuman will make sure you are so much involved into that. And once it is finished, he will make you want to read again and again. Correct, correct. That's the beauty of Sundra Ganda. So, what Swati is saying is, you don't have to read the Sanskrit verses. When we are doing, our priests are doing the Sanskrit verses, you can do the English reading or your uh, native language language reading so that you get the story and you get to know what really happened you know you're singing his glories but in your own language correct correct and you know uh, now now people might think okay Sundra Ganda Sanskrit or English version that I can go ahead and read and do no it will not work that way because there's a lot of procedures high celibacy to be followed brahmacharya correct. and a very controlled vegetarian diet and then the time of starting the amount of flowers to put only a priest can do we, okay, we yes, cannot yes, do yes, and you can, i mean you can just read for the sake of knowing the story and just having some little enjoyment about uh, divinity but if you are doing it 
to have your request fulfilled or a wish fulfilled, the best thing is leave it to the priest who are the experts. Absolutely. In fact, doing Valmiki is such a challenge that we are doing Tulsi, uh, Tulsi Rama and uh, Sundar Khan. Even that is very, very powerful. Again, because it's written by him directly, Tulsi Das. So that Correct. energy. Hanuman came there. in his dream and uh, you know vision and uh, yes. I think Tulsi wrote it. So yes. it's as good as Valmiki. Ramayana. Correct, correct, correct. So that is what I'm saying. So when in their words, when you see, like it's all Doha based, right? So when you when you're reading in their words, it's still fine. But if you like he said, the celibacy and the name and the the way you invoke the blessings and then uh, how what kind of Rama's photo needs to be kept in the puja altar while doing this, all that is there. Those things we can take care of very easily, not an issue. But this is something that you should do like, you know, once in a year at least or when you have something really important happening, even multiple times in a year, it's quite cost effective. And once you do that, uh, definitely you'll, you'll see great results. Hanuman very fast. Is always with you. Very fast. In fact, I want to tell one instance of how <coughs> Hanuman is just chanting his name helped and imagine Sundar Kanda. Uh, I, was at, I was actually traveling alone once and uh, I was near a hotel uh, in the outskirts of Mysore because I was getting my house um, interiors done. That night I was alone in the room and I was sleeping. Middle of the night, around 3, 3.30, I could hear the door knock. Ah, you told me. <laughs> ah, I told you, right? So, so it's like, and the knock is so loud. And uh, I know that, you know, new You went into a haunted hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a haunted hotel, which looked so fancy and nice, so comfortable, excellent service. And and what happened was I could hear the devil knock <laughs> or the spirit knock. Excellent service along with the plate of evil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what, I was in deep sleep, but I still know what's happening and I can sense a palpitation. <laughs> I'm not able to get up and uh, I know there is nobody at that hour, you know, like uh, you, you can either have guests nor uh, somebody from the service. It was so bad and even then you will never have palpitations, right? So, but when you have spirits and other uh, beings, Correct. you can sense Passing that. Passing spirits, yeah. Yeah, so that time I, I felt maybe some spirit was kind of uh, associated with this room and had a connect and uh, maybe that is why that spirit has come Attached there. to that place actually, locational spirit. In, immediately in my sleepy uh, frame of mind, I chanted Hanuman's name, mm -hmm. Rama's name and Madhuri Viran's name and, <laughs> and, and, and just in that split second it vanished. And again after some time it came back. Again, I chanted again. So it was something. Because waiting for you to stop chanting in the corner. <laughs> so Hanuman's name alone, Rama's name alone can have so much power. Just Massive imagine power. the Sundar Kanda. Massive power. Mm. Sundar Kanda is amazing. Yeah. I, I can keep talking about uh, the glory of it. Please do. Every time I do, every time results guaranteed. Yeah. Within a week. That's the beauty. Because Hanuman. You know, he flies like uh, Vayu and Swati, that's what they say, because of the speed. Yeah. So, he's as fast as or even faster than light. So are his results. Yeah. That, that's how fast he's going to be. Right. You put very ethical request, uh, you know, you are really in deep trouble, struggling because of karma or uh, be it finance, evil energy or, uh, you know, shaitan or finance, anything, anything. He's the only one who can do the impossible. And if you have problems which are long pending, meaning to say not resolved for many years, then also you can try the Sundar Kandam. This is uh, definitely, uh, you know, it's a turn around. It will give you the turning point and uh, solve you, solve the problems for you. They can feel, you know, the results or the foods coming into action within three or four days. Right. Or within at least one week, you'll see things are moving like that, quick. True. Yeah, yeah and if I've you're, got uh, that feedback, yeah. Correct. If, you, if your karma is really right, it can happen very fast. fast. Even if not, he's going to cut through it and definitely help you out. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Because that it takes so much effort, dedication to read the Sundra Kanda. It's not as easy. You know, even in English, it's going to take a very long time. Correct. Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, Rishi Chandas and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, mantras that has to be done in the beginning. And then... As I, a prelude. Uh, yeah, correct, absolutely. And then there's a lot of Ramastuti you have to do, Anuman Suti, it's all big. And then you start this fifth canto. And then once you finish, again, you have to go back and repeat few of the cantos. Correct. <coughs> and then finish with the Ram Pattabhishega uh, mantra, which is in the uh, uh, Yuddha Kanda, seventh one. So there's a lot of protocols to be followed. Correct. Because it's going to give you a huge fruit. So, you know, you have so obviously you have to put in a lot of effort. effort in the, which only a priest can do. You can't just jump into the story and say, this is the Parayanam, I can do it, it's nothing, it's a no-brainer. Don't think like that, please. Uh, I mean, you can read the stories, you can read the glories to know the uh, impact of the puja and his powers, so that, you know, you consecrate him in your heart. But uh, the ritualistically, whatever needs to be done, we can take care, not an issue. So, I hope uh, you've got the message loud and clear about Sundarakanda and you come forward and get it done.
Ram Navmi is coming by, and if you are interested, you can enroll for that. Even oh, yeah, correct, thirtieth, right? Yes, yeah. and wonderful day to do that. <laughs> I'll do. I'm going to enroll. So do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to tell you. <laughs> But anybody else who is interested, please do sign up for this. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.